All right, a little bit of geometry here. Hi, and welcome to another installment of Math Basics of Mr. Best. Today we are talking about octagon, and we know octagon. This is an eight-sided shape. How do you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight sides. This here, this is what we also refer to. It kind of has that look like that stop sign minus the colors, right? And what you're trying to do is you're trying to find the value, the value of this angle measurement in here that's X. Now, if you look carefully, if you look carefully, every single one of those angle values are the same. They also tell us in the problem that this guy is a regular octagon. Now, this word right here, regular, means all the sides are the same. So if you've got a shape where all the sides are the same, that also means that all the angles inside are the same as well. As a result, when you have a regular figure, the trick I'm about to show you will work 100% of the time. Okay, the first thing that I need you guys to see with this problem is this. I'm going to be drawing a little shape around here, right? This is what I refer to as a rotation. I'm rotating going around here. A complete rotation measures 360 degrees. All right. Well, you take the complete rotation that you have here, and if you take and you divide it by how many parts it's subdivided by, which in this case, it's an octagon, 360 here on our calculator divided by eight will give us our value, which is 45 degrees for each of these internal angles. And that is essentially all you'd have to do. Again, the reason why I divided this thing by eight is because we had eight sides and eight angles that were inside. Also, we took the big number, which is 360, because all complete rotations add up to be that. All right. So basically it, pretty easy one. Hope you find this both helpful and informative.